Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be talking about my current nighttime moisturizer. I'm just out from shower and I'm preparing for a sleep and before that as always I was doing my nighttime skincare routine. I was just about to start and I thought why don't I share my thoughts and reviews about the current moisturizer that I've been using. So that's why I'm here today and I just want to tell you that my skin is now ready for moisturizer. I have cleaned my face, I have toned my face, I applied my vitamin C serum and now I'm ready for moisturizer. I will definitely do another video where I will share my step-by-step -step night uh, skincare routine so don't get stressed. I will talk all about that and those exciting videos are coming really soon. So I have been using this moisturizer for last uh, one and a half months or probably a little more than that and I have quite a few thoughts about this moisturizer so I thought today before applying this moisturizer on my skin i should talk about it okay so this is the moisturizer that i'm going to talk about today this is the milk moisturizer this is how it looks inside the jar okay so i bought this moisturizer during last springtime and i have mentioned on my instagram that um i couldn't use it actually that time because it felt too thick on my skin and too thick for my liking during that season so I just uh, waited for autumn and winter. I thought autumn or winter when the air is really crisp and dry it will be a perfect moisturizer because it's very very thick. I have been using this for last one and a half months and um, I am I, not really happy. So the reason is this moisturizer is of course very thick and that is not actually the problem the problem is it doesn't absorb in my skin when I apply it I feel that it is not getting absorbed which is a really big problem by the way before we start this video today I just want to share with you something I have been drinking a tea that I have been loving so much and that is so uh, this is the tea, uh, this is the tea bag, I just, uh, I just want to show you. Um, this tea is uh, made, uh, it's a mixture of rose hip, hibiscus and cherry. So hibiscus and uh, rose hip, uh, th these are very very good for your health. So they have lots of health benefits. So yeah, and you're supposed to drink uh, maybe uh, twice a day, not more than that but uh, I have I have been drinking just once daily I feel so much better it is actually something that uh so good for your blood pressure so uh, any tea that has rosehip or hibiscus is so good for your heart health it lowers your blood pressure it keeps you anxiety free and in general feel so much better so just a recommendation you can try this one this is uh, something I'm trying right now but if you have uh, something else I mean some other brands that you know are really really good please do let me know in the comment section below I will really really love to try that and if you find something else some other tea has health benefits and that has some good aroma and flavor you think I need to try do let me know so now let's get back to the moisturizer I want to tell you guys that unfortunately I am not loving this moisturizer I had really high hopes about it this moisturizer is actually really very thick and it's not working for me even in this uh, you know uh, winter season and my skin is really dry but this heavy moisturizer is still not working it is sitting on the top of my skin and it is not getting absorbed in my skin that is the main problem so whenever we use any sort of moisturizer what we need is that it get absorbed in our skin right so when it get absorbed then you feel the moisture the hydration but this cream totally sits on the top of my skin i don't know if it happened to anyone else please do let me know in the comment section below i really want to know that <clears throat> it only just my skin or it is the same thing happening to someone else as well because uh, when I bought this cream I saw people raving about it on Instagram so I got this one it's just really hard to you know spread on your skin and it feels like I need to drag a lot my skin to make it work um, which is something I don't want I don't want to drag my skin and give stress to it right so it, it becomes kind of hard to make it work 
So now I will just quickly apply this moisturizer to my skin and then you can see how it performs. So what I do is just I apply a generous amount and you know what this is actually but I have used some other moisturizer that glides so much easily on my skin but this actually takes some effort and I really don't want that on my moisturizer to happen and uh, this actually needs some sort of you know dragging the skin I don't want to drag my skin and not only that the other problem is that after a while my skin again feels really dry it feels like it is so much dehydrated i feel like this cream doesn't absorb on my skin at all and that's the reason my skin actually feels really dry after about an hour i feel like my skin used to feel so much better when i used my other moisturizer so earlier this year i have been using my tatcha moisturizer before that i had my um fresh beauty rose moisturizer i love those so much better those were a little lighter than this but for hydration and moisture i got the full benefit so i obviously prefer those over this one anyways now i have applied it on the top of my vitamin c serum normally what i do to make this work I either combine it with my Josemaran Argan Oil. Some days I use this uh, antioxidant by Fresh Beauty. So when I add these drops on my moisturizer, then it glides so much better. So that is how I was using my moisturizer and that is how yeah i'm used to make it work on my skin in that way i feel my skin get the hydration feels better so if you have already this cream in your collection and you're feeling like no it's really hard really dragging your skin don't do that use some sort of drops like argan oil or any, or any sort of antioxidant which can really make it a little bit lighter and help it to get absorbed a little better now do i recommend this moisturizer uh, not really because uh, I want my moisturizer to just work itself. I may add something to it time to time but that is just to enhance its um, performance but I just don't want to add other things to it to make it work. I mean as a daily routine that's an extra work and that is something I don't want to do all the time. I also know that so many of you actually uh, don't use eye creams and that is also controversial. Some people say you need an eye cream some say no so i will make another video about eye creams and i will tell you whatever i know about eye creams and whatever i think about them and also i will share with you what i have learned from my cosmetic techniques and management course so far so i can give you a much clearer idea about eye creams but for now what i want to tell you that um yeah some people don't use eye cream they just uh you know use their normal moisturizer there in their under eye areas i feel like that is okay you can do that but in case of this uh, milk makeup moisturizer i feel like uh this is also not suitable for that because it's too thick and you don't really want to drag your under eye areas which is very very delicate and this moisturizer is also uh 50 dollars for 48 ml which is not cheap so for this kind of price of course i expected something much better a good news is that you can also get a 15 ml size which is much smaller and uh, if you really want to try this one then you can get the smaller one first and see if it works for you so you don't really waste your money okay so that is everything for today's video i hope this quick review will be helpful for you let me know in the comment section below if you have used this cream or not and your thoughts and comments your comments and thoughts are always very very welcome so please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified for the upcoming videos stay well good night bye